Okay, today in Logic, we're going to cut this drum loop by hand and then drag it into a sampler. So what I want to do is start by just positioning my playhead at some of the transients and selecting split by playhead. I'm going to do this a few times. And of course, there's a key command. And of course, I feel compelled to show you the key command because it's faster. Backslash. More than likely, you're facing a bit of a snap issue where the playhead is snapping to the beat. This is the snap menu, and it's set on smart. And for now, let's leave it on smart. And we'll get around this problem by zooming all the way into the file. The other thing you can do is hold down the control key while you make your selection, and it overrides snap. Now here's a cool trick. If I drag select to the right in the gray field, I can move my view and same to the left. Try this out because you can really go fast. Okay, here's my cut up audio. And on the next track, it's an instrument track. On the IO of that track, I'm going to click hold and I'm going to create a EXS stereo sampler. And here it is. And you can tell it's empty by first of all playing. That basic sine wave is the basic sound of an empty and then click hold in the black menu and you get no instrument in here. Okay, so now here watch closely. Click on this edit tab and a window is going to appear and this is how you load s sounds into your sampler. I've got a virtual keyboard, I've got a matrix editor here and I have a list editor. So I'm going to carefully get my files. I'm going to drag select those files. And I'm going to pick them up right off the desktop and I'm going to drop them on. You'll see a plus sign. And there it is. So I'm going to let this go and this menu comes up. For now, let's just do contiguous zones and let's just uh, bring it up to C3. And just for the heck of it, I'm going to make it play over the course of four notes. So each sample will have four note range. And here they are. Let's hear them. Okay, so now save by closing the window and you'll get this window here. Pick your name. This is a drum machine through a Fisher-Price kids toy. So after a considerable time, it takes to render all those samples to the folder. You'll get a new sampler with your name and with your sounds.